Now this query. A horse and a carriage together cost rupees this. Uh, if by selling the horse at a profit of 10%, then the carriage at a loss of 10%, a total profit of 2.5% is made. Then what is the cost price of the horse? Now this problem can be solved very easily by the method of allegation, right? Here I suppose horse and carriage. Now uh, horse 10% profit, carriage at 10% loss, so it's minus 10 and overall there is a profit that is 2.5, right? That means this profit is lying somewhere in between, isn't it? Overall if we see uh, on the horse 10% profit is there, on the carriage 10% loss is there, that means overall 2.5% uh, profit is there, that means this data is lying in where, uh, somewhere in between, right? So while we use allegation method, one data should be bigger and one data should be smaller from this quantity, right? From the bigger data, we find out the difference. So 10 minus 2.5, it will be 7.5, right? While we use allegation method, this data is smaller than this. So we'll find the difference of 2.5 and minus 10. So 2.5 minus minus 10, so that's 12.5, right? So 25, 5 and 3. So the ratio of their cost is 5 is to 3, that is 5,000 and 3,000. Okay, so cost price of the horse is 5,000, cost price of the carriage is 3,000. It's very simple, right? So whenever you are ha having the profit and loss problem, uh, based on, on the one uh, this uh, item, if you are making a profit and on the other item, if you are making a loss, overall there may be a profit or loss, right? If there is a loss, put a negative sign over here and proceed the same way. Suppose this is like this, okay? In that case, 10 minus minus 2.5, that will be 12.5 and minus 2.5 minus of minus 10. So that will be plus 10, so that's 7.5. So the ratio will be reversed. Okay, so that is the problem based on profit and loss and sold, uh, solved by allegation method. I hope you have got this.